Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Leo. Leo, this is your monthly financial situation reading for February 2021. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else. <laughs> Too many, you guys. All right. Spirit, what does Leo need to know about their money, their finances? We are ready. We have the Page of Pentacles as your financial situation. What you want is the Ace of Swords. What's benefiting your financial situation is the Queen of Swords. Your crowning position is the Two of Pentacles. Your new financial opportunity is the Page of Swords. What you need to know about your money is death. And your outcome energy is the Eight of Swords. And I'm going to pull one more with the Three of Swords. Okay, so we are definitely uh, talking about divine timing here for some of you. Okay. Um, I feel like there's some anxiety surrounding a, a financial situation here. And you're don't rush it. Don't rush things. Everything happens for a reason. It has its own time, okay? And if you were told that it's going to be three months, okay, uh, before such and such is going to take place, then that's what you need to accept, okay? That's what's coming through from my guides. All right. Thank you, Spirit. We do have the number sequence here as well. One, two, three and three, which tells me this is definitely a new beginning, okay? Progression of events. Revealing radiance. Standing firm. All right. Thank you, Spirit. We'll be doing the life purpose at the end of the reading, guys. Okay. One more. There we go. All right, definitely a new beginning, a fresh start right here. I love it because you have death, and then you have that number sequence, one, two, and three as well. So we have revealing radiance right here. Um, this is powerful because, you know, Leo, you, you know, your energy uh, is also the major arcana card, the sun. So... You know, with you receiving this energy, it just tells me, you know, you're you're going to be shining. You're going to be in the spotlight in February 2021 when it comes to your career, your business, or maybe it's a money-making idea or project. You, you're definitely going to get recognition. You're going to get noticed. And it says, my light illuminates the world, okay? So you are definitely shining bright. You guys, this energy is just off the charts. If you came to this reading needing a yes or no answer, my guides are saying yes, okay? <laughs> Love it. All right, so we have standing firm. I am noble, brave, and strong, okay? Now, for some of you, it's going to be important. Like I said, you know, I feel like where you're going to have to stand firm is standing firm within yourself, believing in yourself, believing that, you know, what... What, what it is that you're waiting on right here is going to come through. Um, and, and just knowing that it's divine timing. Okay, so it's going to take a lot of inner strength. It's going to take you being brave and, and confident, knowing that what this is that is so discouraging right here, it's coming. It may not be coming in your time, but it's coming at the right time, divine timing. Okay? So we have the Page of Pentacles as your financial situation. I love it. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is definitely a new beginning, financial beginning right here. It's practical. It's realistic. It's down to earth. You know, this could be a new career. This could be you getting promoted, um, moving up within a company or a corporation. It's definitely money that is flowing in, okay? And this is continuous flow as well. And you have your eyes on the prize for something bigger, I feel like. 
maybe with this company or corporation. Maybe this is you getting your business up off the ground and starting to finally see uh, money coming in. Starting to see, you know, that you have, you're just, you know, I feel like for some of you, okay, let me back up a minute. You've just barely been breaking even, okay, if this is a business and you're fixing to see where your profits are going to, you know, triple, if not more, okay? So I definitely see more financial gain and it's going to be the beginning of it and I tell you what, it, it's a good amount of money and you have so much room to, you know, take it as, as all the way to the top as you want. It's up to you. How long you want to tend to this, how long you want to grow it and nurture it. But as long as you are doing that, it will provide for you. Some of you, this is an investment or this is money that is owed or due to you from the past. And you're going to be receiving a phone call saying that your investment has matured. You could cash out for others of you. You know, maybe somebody owes you money. Maybe this is a court case and you're going to be... Uh, you're going to be told that there's been, there's compromises and agreements being made and you're fixing to get a payout. What you want is this Ace of Swords. You want a successful new beginning, okay? And you're, you're getting one, okay? And the success is going to come from your creativity, Leo. You are so creative. And you have clarity right here. You know what you want. You know where you're headed, you know, and you know how you're going to get there. You're doing what's right and what's just for you at this time and in your situation. And that's what's needed. Stand in your truth, you guys. You know, and, and speak clearly. Uh, you know, speaking is coming up here for my guys. There's going to be a situation where I feel like you're going to have to, you know, be very straightforward to somebody about a financial situation. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy right here. You know, whether you're female or male, this is a need to put your foot down, speak your mind, okay? It could be that you're wanting to invest in something. Maybe it's a business. Maybe it's you going back to school because I do see education coming up here as well. And you're planning for the future. You're wanting to build up your financial empire, but I feel like you have people around you that are saying no. Well, I'm going to tell you something, Leo. You're here to live your life purpose, your destiny, not anybody else's, okay? Do what's right for you. And I see many of you cutting off people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. You're ready to create and build. And I feel like for some of you, you may have been in a group of friends uh, or around people that they're satisfied with where they're at and not going anywhere, but you want more out of life. And I see you... You know, releasing and letting them go. You're, you're, you're ready to move up. And it's going to be important, you guys, like I said, communication. Some of you are going to be speaking, uh, or, you're, or maybe you have a speech. You're going to be standing in front of maybe your colleagues. Maybe it's uh, at school. It's going to be fine, okay? You're going to do great. All right, in your crowning position, what you know is the Two of Pentacles. This talks about you having a lot on your plate, Leo, but you do it gracefully. There's a decision that needs to be made here about your finances. And I see you going ahead and making that decision. And it's going to be for the betterment of your situation, your set of circumstances. For some of you, this is you choosing to let these pinnacles fall. Maybe this is you holding down two jobs in a family, or maybe it's holding down one job and you know you're gone, and by the time you get home, your kids are already in bed, you know, and you barely got enough time to eat and take a shower and get in bed and it's time to go back to work this is you making a decision to start your own business or go after that career that is going to allow for you to spend more time at home another thing that i'm picking up here is education some of you are investing in your future you're investing in yourself by going back to school with the page of swords right here again gemini libra and aquarius energy you know, this is you gaining a lot of research, knowledge, wisdom about what it is that you desire, what you want, what you're going to have to do to be able to achieve it. Maybe it's getting a certificate, taking a course. Maybe it's going to a trade school. Maybe it requires you to go back to college. But it's an investment, and that's going to be very powerful. This is your 
your new financial opportunity. So, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that that opportunity is going to happen right then where you're going to get money. It means you could invest in yourself by going back to school. And in the long run, it is definitely going to be a financial success for you, okay? Now we have death here, the energy of Scorpio. This is what you need to know about your financial situation. A new beginning, Leo, a new beginning, all right? Make sure that you release, you let go, you dump any baggage, okay, that you may be carrying around uh, as you're ending this uh, cycle that you've been in, okay? Because you want to make sure that when you go through this transition here and transformation that... You're not carrying any of that baggage with you. This is going to be a successful new beginning. And all this success is coming from your creativity. I cannot say it enough. It's a rebirth, okay? Now, you have the Eight of Swords. This is your outcome energy, and I did clarify it. Some of you, you're waiting on something, and it's causing a lot of anxiety. You're wanting something to happen right here, right now. It could be, you know, you're, you're going to go back to school, you're investing in yourself, but you just feel like it's just too long. Be patient with yourself. Some of you are waiting on a payout, money to come in. Do not rush a career. Do not rush a business. Make sure that you have a plan and you have everything um, in order, okay? And divine timing is playing a part here with the Three of Swords. I'm getting three months. It could even be six months that whatever it is that you're waiting on, you know, that's when it's going to arrive, okay? And it's going to be important that you don't force it, that you don't push it. Let it be. Use this time to learn. Use this time to, you know, make a, a solid plan. So we have writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. Beautiful. Some of you love to write. Um, maybe you write books, poetry. I feel like this could be any activity that you uh, that you do with others that helps them, you know, heal. You know, Leo, you're a natural born healer. You fire signs are. So you just, you know, that's something that's very natural for you. Your energy can help. You know heal people you can walk into a room and they can feel that that energy now we have teaching you inspire young people to learn now some of you are definitely going to get a teaching position you're going to go back to school maybe it's a spiritual teacher maybe it's a, a regular teacher maybe you're going to be a mentor maybe you're a children's advocate maybe you're going to work with adolescents maybe you're going to be a therapist counselor now we have environmentalists. You're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. Beautiful. All right, some of you definitely might be getting a career or going back to school that has to do with, you know, Mother Earth, anything with, that has to do with uh, nature, animals, uh, protecting uh, the environment, anything like that. Thank you, Spirit. What a powerful reading right here. All right. So we have, today is a fresh new day, and I can't wait to do something amazing. That's right. Okay. I bravely step outside my comfort zone to accomplish the goals I set out for myself. You can do it, Leo. You got this. I approach each day with a positive attitude, and I am ready for whatever comes my way. Claim it. All right, Leo. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment, you guys. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, Leo.